welcome to the new chapter that is called relief. Now, before we go into detail, let us have looked at what is the importance of relief. So, despite many safety precautions within chemical plants, equipment failure or sometimes operator error can cause increase in pressure. Uh, that is attributed to the process beyond the safe level. So, we are having different line of uh, action for uh, uh, to deal such kind of uh, scenario. Now, if uh, pressure rise too high, they may exceed to the uh, maximum strength of either pipeline or a vessel. Now, this can result in the rupturing of a process equipment uh, causing major release or uh, tox of toxic or flammable vapors. So, in this particular uh, chapter, we are going to deal that what are the different things related to the um, relief, what is the uh, concept of relief, what kind of different sources of uh, over pressure, what are the different line of uh, defense or defense mechanism. We will in understand the pressure temperature curve for uh, different uh, runaway reactions. Uh, we will discuss about the various guidelines for uh, relief pressures. We will have a, a, a discussion about the methodology for the safe installation of uh, various uh, relief devices and where we can introduce uh, those uh, relief devices or the location of uh, relief. Now, let us have a discussion about that what are the different uh, uh, safer mechanism available to you. So, the defense against any kind of pressure rise or rupture uh, and to prevent the accident, uh, the, first phase, the first place is the inherent safety which we have already discussed in um, uh, different modules. Uh, the second line of uh, defense is the better process control. Obviously, we have discussed in the industrial hygiene in where we can use this type of uh, process control. A major effort in this particular aspect is always directed towards the controlling the process uh, which is within the safe operating reason. Now, dangerous high uh, pressure excursion must be prevented or minimized. The third line of uh, defense against the excessive pressure is to install the various relief system to relieve any kind of liquid or gases before excessive pressures are developed. So, usually these relief systems are composed of relief devices and associated downstream process equipment to safety to safely handle the material ejected. So, uh, in nutshell, there is always a great chance of accident within the uh, process plant despite taking several safety precautions. So, sometimes the rise in pressure may attributed to the equipment malfunctioning operator errors, sometimes ambience or third party uh, uh, inductions etcetera. So, these discrepancy can cause increase in process pressure beyond the safe level. So, excessive pressure may lead towards the rupture of uh, any kind of things uh, which may be catastrophic for uh, process. So, now, this uh, catastrophe not only affect the equipment, but also interrupts the whole process associated with it, in, uh, with it resulting the major release of toxic or flammable chemicals. This may uh, cause a severe damage to the outside periphery too. Change in the chemical reaction associated with the process. This may lead to the fire and explosion. This may lead to the loss of material, ultimately lead to the, the economic losses and the plant shut down in major cases. So, let us have a discussion about that what are the different sources of over pressure. So, the excessive over pressure or under pressure in a process plant can be subjected due to the external fire sometimes uh, maybe uh, in uh, maybe conduction convection through this may lead to the the catastrophe that is called the plant fire connection to a high pressure source now valve um, is opened in error sometimes a disconnection in a, from a low pressure sink that is valve again may be attributed to the valve opened in error uh, increased heat input that is the malfunctioning of heating or a cooling equipment uh, as desired within the chemical reactions and it is quite obvious because there are so many reactions or a major reactions uh, those involve the endothermicity or exothermicity. Uh, 
other is uh, uh, others are that decreased heat input that is uh, malfunctioning of uh, heating cooling equipment or again the chemical reaction uh, the best example is the uh, loss of reflux or of subcooled liquid in distillation column sometimes vapor evolution that is admission of uh, uh, water or uh, uh, high hydro light hydrocarbon to hot oil then absorbent failure failure attributed to the failure to remove the sufficient gas uh, due to the loss of flow from uh, absorbent sometimes it may lead to the heat exchanger tube failure this may be attributed to the low pressure shell is exposed to the high pressure rate tube uh, expansion of block in liquid that is between the two closed block walls. Sometimes it is attributed to the reverse flow that is uh, the failure of pressure riser or uh, sometimes fluid transient uh, that is hammering two phase flow or geysering. Uh, sometimes attributed to the process abnormality or misoperation equipment or service or uh, utility failure changes in ambient conditions excess chemical reactions. So, these are the various sources of uh, over pressure. Now, question arises that what is the defense mechanism? Now, the first line of defense against such incident is to try to prevent such accident at the origin. Now, how you can prevent those things? You may have a developed uh, better, uh, you may develop the better process control. You may control the process within the safe operating region and every process is having the safe operating region. Sometimes uh, per force uh, because of the production demand, because of a variety of a reason, you, uh, you may be in a position to violate all those things. Now, dangerous high pressure excursion must be prevented or minimized. Now, uh, in this uh, particular uh, uh, figure, you may have a defense against uh, such accidents. You may have to install the relief system. You may have a better process control and which we uh, at the start we have discussed that every process is having some inherent safety. So, you may adopt that particular and you must have a knowledge of all those things. Now, the second line of defense is uh, which we have already discussed at the start of this particular chapter that installation of a relief system to relieve the liquid or a gases before excessive pressure are developed. So, the relief system is composed of a relief device and associated downstream process equipment to safely handle the material ejected. So, you may have installation of uh, these relief uh, system to relieve liquid gases before excessive pressure built up. So, you are avoiding uh, the uh, rupturing or uh, vessel failure um, scenario. Now, what are the options uh, uh, to control? Now, there are a few options available to you. First is that emergency cooling. Now, you may have addition of a compatible cooling medium along with the reactant for rapid heat transfer. Second is that there are so many reaction inhibitors, those who kills the reaction. Now, you may have, uh, you may add those killing materials for the controlling the reaction. Now, that is the control rod, sometimes um, they are inserted in the nuclear reactor to maintain the desired state of nuclear fission reaction. This is one of the best example. There are certain carbon monoxide uh, gas uh, uh, induction, they, uh, they, make, uh, uh, they may act as a killer material for uh, various uh, polymerization reaction, especially in case of homopolymerization of uh, uh, propylene. Other methods uh, include the venting of some amount of material from the reactor for rapid cooling. Now, these methods alone in or in com combination with the other assemblies can be used as a preventive measure for controlling the hazard. But these uh, um, methods have various flaws such as that if you required manual operation uh, to eliminate the possibility of reaction upset and for a smooth functioning of process. The early detection of uh, hazard is uh, primarily target for a safe and economical operation while these materials are used to to minimize the consequences. So, in nutshell, we must understand that what is the concept of a relief. Now, if pressure relief system are required for the variety of reason, some of them they are summarized as to protect the personnel from the danger over the over pressurizing equipment, to minimize the chemical losses during the pressure upsets, to prevent the damage of uh, equipment, 
to prevent the damage to adjoining properties and sometimes this may lead to the heavy economic losses to reduce the insurance premiums and to comply the governmental regulation because nowadays governmental regulations are strict. So, you have to comply all these regulations to protect the environment as well as the nearby people. Now, in this particular figure, we have pressure versus time for different aspects like this is the for the relieving vapor, relieving froth this one. Uh, th that is the two, uh, two phase flow and this is for the close reaction vessel. We will discuss this particular plot in the subsequent slides. Now, uh, you may consider a case where reactor temperature start rising, maybe because of the cooling is lost or loss of cooling water supply or a failure of valve variety with the variety of reasons. So, so heat inside the reactor will start increase due to the rise in temperature. Now, this self accelerating mechanism results in a runaway reaction. Now, the pressure within the reactor increases due to the increased vapor pressure. Obviously, the vapors are tending to form over the period of time because of the rise in temperature. So, the vapor pressure of the liquid component is on the higher side and the gaseous decomposition product as a result of high temperature. Now, this uh, runaway reaction for a large commercial reactor can occur in minutes with the temperature and pressure increase of the several hundred degrees per minute or several hundred psi per minute respectively. So, you can imagine the scenario because the temperature is on the higher side and the vapor pressure is on the higher side. So, the, the temperature and pressure is on the, the higher side. Now, uh, for the curve sh uh, shown, this this uh, curve, the cooling is lost at say temperature, uh, sorry, temperature uh, time t is equal to 0. Now, if reactor has no relief system, the pressure and temperature continues to rise until the reactants are completely consumed. This is as predicted in this uh, particular curve. Now, after the reactants are consumed, the heat generation stops. Um, and subsequently the, the reactor cools, the pressure subsequently drops like this. Now, this uh, particular curve assumes that reactor is capable of withstanding the full pressure uh, of the runaway. Now, if reactor has a relief device, the pressure response is dependent on the relief device characteristics and uh, the properties of the fluid discharged through the relief and that is represented by the curve this curve A. Now, pressure will increase inside the reactor until the relief device activates at the pressure indicates. So, when the froth is discharged, uh, uh, this is represented in the curve B, the pressure continues to rise as the relief valve opens. Now, uh, the incremental pressure increase over the initial relief pressure is called the over pressure. Now, this uh, uh, curve A for vapor or gas discharge through the relief wall, this one. The pressure drops immediately when the relief device opens because only small amount of vapor discharge is required to decrease the pressure. Now, you can see this there is a rise in pressure and then it drops. The pressure drops until the relief valve closed and the pressure difference is called the blowdown. Now, since the relief character of two phase vapor uh, liquid material is markedly different from the vapor relief, the nature of relieved material must be known in order to design a proper relief. Now, remember there is one major accident took place in Italy in the Sueso just because of the failure of these devices. So, be careful and we must have this type, uh, this type of uh, um, pressure, time and temperature relationship with us. Now, before we go into detail, we must uh, look into several important definitions uh, which may be uh, very useful in due course of time. Now, first important and the first and foremost important definition is the set pressure. So, this is the predetermined pressure at which the relief device under operating condition begins to activate. Now, there are various ways to detect. One is the starting start of opening. This can be checked by measuring the wall lift or hearing the flow. Second is the opening pressure. For the case of compressible fluid, it can be easily determined by the sudden movement of disc. 
third is the start to leak pressure for valve having a perfect seal. Now, it may be easily detected as soon as the first bubble or drop appears. Now, second is the maximum allowable working pressure MAWP, sometimes it is designated in abbreviated form. This uh, maximum allowable gauge pressure based on the design codes that we the weakest component of pressure vessel can handle. It is also called the design pressure. Other is the operating pressure, the gauge pressure inside the vessel during the normal service, it may be equal to the MAWP, but cannot exceed the limit and usually taken 10 percent below the MAWP. Accumulation, the pressure above MAWP inside the vessel. Now, this term is used to mention the exceeding pressure of vessel while over pressure talk about uh, the pressure relief valve. There are certain things related to the over pressure. This pressure, uh, the pressure developed above the set pressure uh, of the relief valve during the relieving process and it is expressed in terms of uh, percentage of uh, set pressure. So, you can see now this is your set pressure this is MAWP and this one is the over pressure or this one is the accumulation. So, over pressure is used to certify the safety valve. Now, relieving pressure is equal to set pressure plus over pressure equal to MAWP plus accumulation. This is the standard equation for dealing such over pressure, set pressure and MAWP. Another one is the back pressure, the pressure at the outlet or the discharge side of the safety relief valve during the relief process due to the pressure existing uh, in the downstream region. Now, usually it is expressed as the percentage of relieving pressure usually calculated as uh, for the compressible fluid that is in terms of absolute unit and for incompressible fluid it is calculated in terms of a gauge unit. The percentage of set pressure, this is calculated uh, in uh, gauge units uh, as per API. Blowdown, uh, the pressure difference uh, between the relief set pressure and relief reseating pressure, uh, it is uh, expressed as a percentage of the set pressure. Reseating means when uh, the pressure relieved and uh, uh, the valve or uh, disc may be reseated to its original or, uh, uh, position. Now, relieving pressure, the pressure uh, used to uh, for the sizing of the safety wall, it can be greater than or equal to the sum of set pressure and over pressure. Lift, the actual travel uh, of the valve disc from the initial or the closed position. So, whenever it acquires the original position, it is called the reseating. The maximum allowable accumulated pressure, the sum of the maximum allowable working pressure plus the allowable accumulation. You may refer to the previous plot. The relief system, the network of component around a relief device including the pipe to the relief, the relief device, the discharge pipeline, knockout drum, scrubber, flare or other type of equipment which assist in the safe relief process. The coefficient of discharge, this is the ratio of actual flowing capacity and that is, that, that is decided either by the manufacturer or by testing, testing uh, to the theoretical flowing uh, capacity that is purely from the calculation. Now, here you can see uh, the guidelines uh, for the relief pressure, this is the two step slide. Now, here you are having the pressure vessel requirement that is the maximum allowable accumulated pressure and here you are having the vessel pressure which is, the which is having the numerical value. Now, this is the typical characteristics of safety relief fall. So, maximum allowable accumulated pressure say that is 121, the maximum relieving pressure for fire is this one. So, maximum allowable accumulated pressure for multiple valve installation other than the fire explosive it is given by this one. So, every um, industry or every process they must have these type of guidelines uh, for the relief pressure. So, now before we go for this uh, the guideline, you, you must be uh, acquainted with these type of uh, definitions. So, that is why we have taken these definitions a priori before we go into the detail. Now, there are certain things you must keep in your mind that while designing the relief system for overpressure, 
sometimes it is designated as op or under pressure the uh, following uh, questions must be remembered to achieve or a more inherent safer and cost effective design you must ask different questions and you must frame different questions now the sample questions are can we design process planned by taking measures to control the over pressure or under pressure hazard first thing second can changing the process parameters or control mechanism prevent the over pressure or under pressure hazard again because sometimes uh, maybe because of the variety of reasons you are compelled to change the process parameters so you must ask this particular question now can an equipment be designed to contain the load of over pressure or under pressure to withstand the maximum feasible pressure now can alternative protection to a relief system be considered because it gives provides you variety of options can we minimize the number of uh, relief systems installed by using alternate cost effective devices so these are the couple of things which you must keep in your mind now uh, in the next part we will uh, we are discussing that methodology used for the safe installation of a pressure relief device now this uh, particular uh, flow sheet gives you an idea uh, about this particular methodology you must locate the various reliefs desired on the basis of your knowledge and on the basis of the question framed you must choose the proper relief types then you develop the relief protocol for that particular process you may acquire the the desired data and these data may be simple physical properties or a sophisticated to uh, calorimeter data or characterize two phase flow including the gas system or a high viscosity or a laminar flow system so that is purely based on um, the variety and the quality of the question being asked for the pro particular process now uh, this required data uh, you may select the size relief for single phase and size relief for re two phase that depends on your requirement then uh, you adopt or you choose the worst scenario and on the basis of this particular information you may design the proper relief system for that particular process so this is the proper methodology for the safe installation of any kind of pressure relief devices now there are several steps involved in designing the emergency relief system the first is that determine determine the various scenario or that may lead to over pressure identify those scenario which may lead towards the highest rate of vapor formation this is one of the example now through, through this exercise we can determine the release rate uh, from pressure relief device for worst case scenario it may lead to the rupture of a vessel etc now second that the location of installation of uh, pressure relief devices it we, we we are going to discuss in upcoming slides must be determined by taking vessel geometry type of fluid uh, what are the uh, surroundings or surrounding environment and other affecting factors you have to take into consideration so location is again a very important because if uh, location is wrong then definitely the relief device will not serve its desired purpose now we have discussed earlier that the discharge through multi phase fluid relief system is significantly different as compared to the discharge through all vapor or all a gas system now the third case is the the design of a pressure relief device must be such a way that it could provide the sufficient discharge rate even at the worst case scenario such that it can sustain the system under maximum allowable pressure this is again a very important point to note so keep in mind that if the relief device is designed much larger as desired it not only lead to the higher co costing but also add to a loss of material and treatment cost for the relief fluid to be handled so uh, you have uh, you must have a, a, an appropriate or an optimum um, relief device the last step is to design a treatment system for handling the relief fluid discharge from the relief device it is just like that steam is discharged to the atmosphere at a very high temperature so you must uh, know that uh, what is the the uh, treatment protocol 
for their relieved fluid. Now, this step is very important as the fluid discharge is not only treated properly, it can lead to the bigger consequences uh, than the rupture of pressure vessel. So, you must know all these things. The knowledge of material to handle such as the behavior while uh, kept under over pressure uh, and other additional heat uh, is essential in determining in, uh, all the discussed step effectively. Now, design of relief system for two phase flow fluid is uh, significantly bigger than the design of relief system for gas only fluid. Now, additionally there are sophisticated instruments uh, uh, requirement which needs to which need to be installed while treating two phase fluids such as vapor liquid separators condensers and well engineered storage tanks so these are the the need of time to have the uh, these sophisticated instruments now question arises how to install uh, the pressure relief devices again it is a very uh, multi step process First step is that to you need to specify the location where a relief device is to be installed. Now, again we have discussed in the previous slides that these uh, the, the location is very important for uh, the relief, relief location is very important for installation. The reason is that if it is not at a proper place then the, uh, the results or uh, uh, the outcome would be extremely dangerous. Now, step 2 is the select the appropriate relief device type according to the requirement. So, nature of material to be handled primarily defines the type of device to be installed which includes the mass flow rate of the material, phase of the material and the characteristic of the material because uh, it should not be so reactive with the, the relief device otherwise it may call the choking, it may call the falling etcetera. Now, step 3 the carefully define the various ways that is uh, the relief scenario through which the relief can be occurred. Now, this is again because uh, achieved by uh, plotting various uh, temperature versus pressure plot or pressure versus time plot etcetera. So, you can you can devise or you can develop this step carefully. The step 5 is the collection of data for ejected material including the physical characteristics and uh, accordingly the relief sizing is need to be performed. The last step is the design the relief system for the worst case scenario means extreme pressure extreme scenario. So, that you must aware that what the what are the consequences may take place in due course of time. So, special attention is required for in each step while designing relief devices as a minute error can cause uh, uh, can result to a catastrophic failure of a whole system entire system. Now, next aspect is the location to uh, relief or location of uh, relief. So, this is again a very important aspect which need to be addressed. Now, procedure for specifying the location of relief requires the review of every unit operation in the process in question and every process uh, operating step. So, be careful about this one. The engineer must anticipate the potential problem that may result in the increased pressure. The pressure relief devices are installed at every point identified as a potential hazard that is at point where the, the upset condition uh, create pressure that may exceed to the maximum allowable working pressure. Then the type and the quality of the question asked in the review process. Remember you may design, you may develop your own questions. Now, uh, the sample questions are that what happened with the loss of cooling, heating or agitation? What happens if uh, uh, the process is uh, uh, contaminated uh, or has a mischarge of a catalyst or a monomer? What happens if the operator makes an error? What is the consequence of uh, closing valve that is maybe block valve on vessel or in line that are filled with the liquid exposed to heat or refrigeration? What happens if uh, a line fails for example, a failure of a high pressure gas line into a low pressure vessel? What happens if the unit operation is the engulfed in a fire? 
what conditions cause runaway reaction and how are the relief system designed to handle the discharge as a result of runaway reaction. So, these are the various sample questions which need to be asked before designing any kind of relief system. Now, where to install those reliefs? Re relief? Uh, the all pressure vessel require relief including reactor, storage tank, towers, uh, drums, etcetera. So, you need to locate all those pressure vessels. All low pressure storage tanks require the pressure and vacuum relief for normal operation that is a pumping in out tank, breathing, vacuum generation due to the uh, due to con uh, condensation. Measures should also be taken to sustain emergency events such as uh, fire exposure, operational error, etcetera. Blocked in section of a cool liquid filled lines such as uh, uh, lines that are exposed to heat such as uh, the sun or refrigeration, they needs the relief. The positive displacement pumps, compressors, turbines, they need the relief on the discharge side of uh, dead head uh, protection. Vessel steam jackets uh, um, are often uh, rated for low pressure steam. Relief are installed in jackets to prevent the excessive steam pressure due to operator error or a regulator failure. The piping that may be over pressurized due to the operational error. Sometimes vessel, vessel jackets are also considered as a separate vessel and hence requires relief. Now, in this uh, particular module, we have discussed a brief introduction about various relief devices. Uh, we have discussed about the various aspects of uh, overpressure and for uh, your convenience, uh, you may have a look of these references which are enlisted in this slide. Thank you very much.